that was pretty much my reaction. <laughs> hey there guys, Noah here, welcome back to another Vanguard discussion video. Today, we're going to be talking about the new premium deck sets for, for Jewel Knights, Revengers, and Musketeers. And, oh boy, it, it's some interesting stuff, and I'm going to be, you know, putting in my own two cents and give you guys my perspective on how I think these stride deck sets are going to play out. Uh, they're not stride deck sets, they're premium deck sets. I'm just so used to saying stride deck sets, and they might as well be because it's going to be in a similar fashion as, like, the Night Rose and Harry support that got re released for English this past year. But, regardless, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, and let's just get into it. Starting off with the fact that, for the cover cards in particular, we got Leading Jewel Knights alone, Raging Form Dragon, and White Lily Musketeer Cecilia. I think these are fine as the Grade 3 cover cards, and I just kind of question whether or not they're going to errata some of these cards in particular because Cecilia's original effect it was kind of mad like if anything maybe they'll update Cecilia's ability to you know make it somewhat competitively viable if it's anywhere near close to the Vanguard Zero effect I think it will be fine but regardless I think the cover cards in which they used for it were, were probably your best bets on it like Revengers have been a very consistent like force and probably still one of the better ways to go about building Shadow Paladin. Uh, and it's got a, a couple sparse tops here and there as well, so I don't doubt for a second that they... You know, I, I don't doubt for a second that Revengers are good, you know, and especially with this support. If it's going to lean more towards that similar strategy, then I fully expect Revengers to be pretty damn good in its own right. Especially when you consider that... We have a near guaranteed way to make sure we go into Raging Form, thanks to the Slay Hex Dragon, which allows you to just superior ride into the Raging Form Dragon off its effect. So getting to the Raging Form shouldn't be an issue for it. As for Jewel Knights and Musketeers, hard to say whether or not they'll actually use these Great Threes. I know for a fact that for Jewel Knights in particular, they much prefer using the V version of Salome. Uh, but whether or not that the original version of Salome will have some sort of unique superior ride or superior stride effect like how they did with the on-hit strides from recently with History Collection, that's to remain to be seen because if not, then I'm kind of questioning why they chose Salome and Cecilia for, you know, the cards for Royal Paladin and Neo Nectar. Mostly because I think both of their effects are relatively mid, especially in today's day and age. Like, you could at least make the argument for Raging Form where it's like, it's not terrible, and it's actually somewhat playable, especially in this context, but regardless, I think that it kind of leads into my point where they also did reveal that the Great Force for the strides that they revealed during this today's stream will get some sort of errata, which I'm curious to see how they will do it. It'll probably be along the lines of the History Collection on its strides where... If you've got an asserting unit on your Vanguard Circle and you didn't get an imaginary gift this fight, you can superior stride it for a cost. Like, I honestly would not be surprised if it's something similar, because that's just the typical trend that they go with. And then, of course, they also announced that they would be reprinting some cards as well, you know, specifically for the triggers. So you got the Stride Fighter crits, the Move to Souls Raw Walk at plus 10 crits, the Over Trigger, the Heal Guardians, and their Draw PGs. So I think. Honestly, these are going to be interesting reprints. I'm curious to see where they'll take this deck in the in the direction. Like, if it's anywhere near close to being interesting to what they did with the English exclusive product for Harry and Night Rose, then I, I'm all for it. And I hope that all the other clans in the game eventually get this kind of level of support because I think this would help revitalize more interest in premium. Especially for players who have been out of the game for years, but also want to get back into it without having to try overdress and ultimately realize that they don't like the format. <laughs> and hopefully, I and mean, this is another thing that I'm really hoping for, and I'm praying that they do with this. Please reprint Harmonix Messiah, for the love of God. Don't make it just a world's promo that you can go and get it at the world championships if you participate. Do everyone a favor and make it a more easily accessible. The moment they, 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 and I don't know if they'll actually go through with it because I feel like that would have been the highlight of the entire set if they said, hey, not only are we eroding these strides, but we're also going to be 
reprinting the Harmonix Messiah, you know, the card that was practically the main thing about History Collection, then I would have been all for it. But even if it's just like a small promo, we'll take it in a heartbeat. Doesn't matter at that point. But I am curious to see what you guys' takes are about all of this information in the comment section below. I'm going to try to be more proactive over the next couple of weeks, as well as the, the, you know, the rest of the year and so on and so forth. And I'll probably give you guys a update video regarding this channel probably at the beginning of next year. Because, again, I've just been so busy and it's just been such a freaking wreck. Uh, but, my own, you know, personal problems aside, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Until next time, this is Noah, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye, everyone.